Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a massive Japan haul for you. I've got so much stuff. Um, it's ridiculous. I didn't realize how much stuff I bought until I got home. I was like, oh my god. So I'm going to do it in the category of Ghibli. So I did go to the museum. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I also went to a lot of Ghibli stores. So I got a whole bunch of Ghibli stuff. I also have a few stationary goodies as well. Um, I've already made a stationary haul video while I was in Japan, so go check it out if you haven't seen it. I've only got a few little bits and pieces left to show you guys. Um, and what else have I got? I've got some gachapon that a lot of you requested that you wanted to see, and I haven't even opened them yet, so I'm super excited. And then I've got like a few little miscellaneous things as well. So. Um, just before we jump right in, firstly, everyone who's written me a letter and I've already opened your letter up on camera in my last um, PO Box opening video, then I am going to get back to you. I'm going to have a few binge days where I just write and create lots of letters. Um, and if you sent me a letter while I was in Japan, I'm going to do another PO Box opening video, hopefully within the next few weeks. And I'm going to start doing Christmas tutorials. So... Uh, how to make um, Christmas themed letters. So um, a few of you are also going to get some Christmas themed letters throughout December. Um, also I'm trying to post on Tuesdays so put that down in your calendar and um, I want to start doing uh, favourite videos. So if you love favourite videos and you want me to create some favourite videos let me know in the comments below um, if you want me to do it and if enough of you guys say yes then I'll start making those. Um, so let's jump right in. Oakley Oakley. Alright, let's start with the Jubilee bag. Also, how cute is this little bag? It's got a massive leaf on it. No. Oh my god. As soon as I start filming, someone's like drilling something into concrete, it sounds like. Please go away. Ah! So the first little figurine is the little girl out of Castle in the Sky. I've gone completely mind blank and I can't think of her name. But she's even got her little um, necklace on that saves her when she falls. So, very cute. I love her. In this little cute bag, I got the little kawaii baby Totoro. So, um, this one is the middle Totoro. There's the little white one, this little one, and then the big Totoro. So, I love the blue one just because I love this colour so much. And he's so cute. So, he's going to sit next to my big Totoro. Okay. Moving on, what is this? I don't even know what this is, but I'm excited to open it. So these two are actually little teacups. Um, it says made in Japan with a little Mount Fuji on top. They are so adorable because one has Totoro like little um, prints all around. So mid Totoro it's called. So, Chu, Chu Totoro. So, middle Totoro is Chu Totoro. And that's the little one that I've got. Where do you go? Little Chu Totoro. Um, and then it's got like the um, cat bus and little Totoro, um, big Totoro, straw hat. So, it's, oh, I love this so much. And then to match it, I've got the one out of Spirit Away. And it's got all the little characters all around. Like, no face. And it's even got like rice balls. So, these, like, I fell in love with these, so every time a friend comes over, I'm gonna... But I didn't know if I was gonna give one to my sister or keep them both, because I feel like it's a pair, so I have to decide that. So, I got a whole bunch of postcards, because I am a stationary lover. And some more little figurines, so... I got Kiki, because Kiki's one of my favourite. And I also got the little old lady out of House Moving Castle, Sophie. Um, I also got some pretty postcards. I got Kiki's Delivery Service, How's Moving Castle, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, and I just got those three. And I've actually got, when I went to America, I got San Francisco um, postcards and I put them on the wall. So I might frame these because they're so cute. So I haven't decided if I'm going to frame these or like keep them and use them for like scrapbooking. So I don't know yet. Oh yeah, these are long postcards. So I got these from the actual museum. Um, so there is a photo of the museum, like a hand-drawn photo of the museum, all lit up. Um, the outside of the museum is just amazing. Like, the architecture is absolutely amazing. And then I got two of these because I knew I'd give one away. So 
Um, it's just, again, a picture of the museum and it's hand drawn with all the little characters all around. So I thought that was so cute. I love that so much. And then I got both um, books that you can buy at the museum. I think they were $5 each. So these are the official museum books. Um, this is from Kyoto, the Arashiyama. So it's a place in Kyoto and I went to the Orgel Museum. I didn't actually go in, I just went to the shop part because I was really interested. So it's got my Orgel. So I had to get it. I think, I think this was around $18. Um, so there it is. So I'm not sure if I can actually play this on YouTube yet because YouTube doesn't let you use copyrighted music but I absolutely fell in love with that and I had to get it and yes, one of my favourite purchases. So now we've done all the Ghibli related things and next is Gatchapong. So these are all the Gatchapong I've got. Um, these two I got from the dollar yen um, sushi place. You won them. So this one was just a yo-yo. This one's just a Dragon Ball Z little character. These are the ones I bought. Oh my god, they're rolling everywhere. Okay, so this one is so cute. It is this little rabbit. How cute is it? I thought he was adorable. He's so cute. And I wanted that one too, so I'm so happy with that. This one, I have no idea what it is. Oh, this is so cute. What is this? It's like a little whale on a plate and it's got like a blue um, cord. I think I might give this one to my sister because I think she'll think it's super cute like me. Or maybe I'll keep him. I keep saying I'm going to give things as presents and then I keep thinking, hmm, but I love him. Next, I got a few little things. So I put all the badges inside here. These are all Gatchapong. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if they all are. I might be lying. So, oh, super milk. So it's this little green one. I got this little bunny guy. This one, I have no idea what character this is from. Uh, it's like a little, I guess, warrior girl with ghosts around her. So if you know who that is, let me know. Um, and then this one I bought from a shop. This is not a Gatchapong. It's like this really creepy character. He's so weird and he's wearing like this a swan lay kind of like dress like doing ballet and it's like this guy so no idea if he's well known or famous or something but I thought it was hilarious. This one is also another weird one. This one is like a little egg character and I just thought he was super weird so I had to get him. So they were all my gachapong. I'll do a little bit of miscellaneous because I got a few things floating around. This is like food stuff. So this one's like a curry and on the back it's like you put in the pot, then you put the water and the veggies and then you put this thing in and then you put milk in. So never tried it before but I saw lots of people making with it and I actually got it for free at the Autumn Festival I think. So I wanted to make that one at home. I also got these little matcha, um, I think they're like just little cookies I'm hoping. I don't know. I got them for a gift, so hopefully those are yummy. Oh my god, I hope that sound isn't irritating, because I know it's irritating me. I hope the camera's not picking it up. Um, so these little um, octopus like ball things were all over Japan. I didn't try them because I don't really like octopus, but you can make a little like candy version of it, so I was thinking of giving that to my sister and making it with her. But I thought that was so cute, so that's like a little sweet. So I got given these chopsticks, which I thought was really nice, and I'm going to make some Japanese um, dinners. So I thought that'd be really cool to have some Japanese chopsticks instead of like those really crappy like little timber chuck away ones, which is the only ones I have at home. Um, and I also got like a whole bunch of vintage things. So this kind of leads into stationery, but I'll start off with like the little figurines. Um, Oh, what is in here? So I went to um, a lot of vintage and like secondhand stores. Um, I got these which were apparently um, like a little snap game. 
and I'm either going to scrapbook with them or decorate them on the wall because I've already got a few little pieces like that I'm going to put on the wall so I thought I'd also add this and put this in a frame and on a wall because they were all like the same vibrant colours like I've got stamps as well so I thought I'd do like a collage of um, retro Japan but I haven't decided how I'm going to do that because I've also got things like these little really old school um, books that they used to bring I think in primary school these were also a game that they used to play so again they're really vibrant like retro colors and I love them and they match the theme that I'm going with where I'm going to design um, I got a cute little milky character because I fell in love with this little character over there and she's a little astronaut so it's the little ah he fell off his arm keeps falling off so it's the little robot and the bunny with like the little drums okay <laughs> Stationary time. I told you I got a lot of stuff. I think it's you would call this a zine. I'm not actually sure. It might just be like a really quirky magazine. So it's from an artist who draws these really quirky pictures, and they're just really odd. And I didn't know if I was going to cut it up and use them, or if I was just going to keep it as like a a really odd Japanese artist. Well, I think it cost me five dollars and I just love the bold colors and I love the design like look at this it is this guy who's dressed up as like a piece of paper so love that these I just thought was cute so these a little um, envelope this is from no this is from 109 the big um, department store in um, Shibuya and they had like a pop-up store and I loved these postcards so much. They're like very bold pinks and I thought I would frame these so I just loved them because of like how, yeah, just quirky they were I guess. What is this? I keep forgetting what I bought. All right. So this is from one of those massive cute department stores. They're called Kitty Land. So it's got like envelopes, four different types and four different types of writing paper. So I just had to get that. I think it was only like $4 or something. So it was cheap enough just to grab on the go. Oh my God, it keeps going. Why did I buy so much stuff? No wonder I had no money at the end to buy food. Oh, this is from Kitty Land again. It is, um, should have been in my Ghibli um, collection but it's all these Ghibli um, different origami um, pieces of paper it's so cool I love like all the prints this is a spirited away one um, and I just had to get it I was like I'm going to use this 100% lastly this is a really small stationery store that I fell in love with and I just got a few little more bits and pieces and I promise you this is the last Tomo Miura it's a little badge this washi tape is um, retro Japanese toys so it's got like the origami and the little sumo guy and like the mask and oh, so cool I had to get it there was like a whole collection of these and I wanted them all but I didn't have enough money so I got a whole bunch of these little vintage Europe stamps and then these two little postcards which again was a collection of an artist this one was from that same artist um, Tomomi Yura so it's that little girl and then this one was a different one this is like this little hedgehog collection so that is everything um, that is all of the stuff I bought so let me know what was your favorite put a comment in the description box below with what you loved what places you um, want to go when you go to Japan if you're planning on going um, if you watched my whole Japan travel like diary thing that I made then um, let me know what was your favorite video or where you want to go and yeah that's it for today so I'll see you guys in hopefully next Tuesday because I always say in the next few days but I'm not making it every few days I'm making it on Tuesday so that was a weird way to end my video <laughs> I'll see you guys on Tuesday bye mm <laughs>